Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I'd like to get into Apple and their recent worldwide developer conference and recent news going on in the stock. Also, if you'd like three free stocks, check out the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, we do see that Apple yesterday had a huge conference and the stock has been being quite bullish over the last few days in anticipation for this conference. So we're basically seeing that Apple announced some new upgrades to its iOS software. Nothing crazy big, but the thing I talked about a few weeks ago for Apple was the fact that they're moving into their Kalamata project where they're basically getting rid of Intel chips and forming their own chips. And this is going to be better for their software and enhancing the overall capacity and memory and functionality of Apple software. So this is very bullish news. And again, yes, the Macs don't make up a huge portion of their profits, but it can still have a decent effect in the long term. So this is some decent news coming out of Apple. And a few other features that we see Apple rolled out is a different, obviously, layout look, which they've been doing for many years right now, which isn't that surprising. And we also see that they also have a new car key unlock feature, which you can unlock your car from your iOS device. And we're also seeing Siri get a slight upgrade as well. But some of the main issues that have been coming out of Apple lately is that it's been under scrutiny from European regulators because of its practices around the App Store and Apple Pay. So they've basically been scrutinizing Apple because they say that they have a huge monopoly and they're basically affecting a lot of the apps and profitability for these people because they regulate their App Store so heavily. So one of the main things coming out that happened recently was that app developer Basecamp made a new app called Hey, and it's basically an email productivity app. And basically Basecamp asked its customers to pay for subscription services through a different web browser instead of within Apple's App Store, so Apple wouldn't get a percent cut from that. And Apple was basically not letting them update their system, and this was a huge issue. And basically Apple quietly on Monday resolved the issue by trying to change some policies and the app review process in their app store. So they're saying that these changes will be implemented in the summer. And these are just some of the issues that are kind of plaguing Apple right now. But Apple is still one of those crazy good stocks to have, right? But as I said before, this worldwide developer conference did bring positive news and kind of overshadowed the negativity that we've had on Apple over the last few days. Now, let's get into the stock chart. Now, we know that Apple long-term is a decent investment, and we have a lot of cash to fall back on because they have heavy cash reserves. So that's something to look at when looking at Apple long-term to invest. But right now, guys, in my opinion, Apple is again higher. We know that analysts have been extremely bullish right now leading up to this worldwide developer conference, and they have been raising their price targets to higher levels. But Remember, you guys have to kind of silence that noise because that's not always the case, right? Analysts are wrong a lot of the time. And I'm not saying that they're going to be wrong again. But what I'm saying is Apple is overextended right now. And it might not be worth the risk to get into Apple until we see a slight pullback. And basically, we saw this ascending triangle formation forming, guys, on the chart of Apple. And it was basically retesting the recent highs. Similar to the video that I made earlier today on Innovio Pharmaceuticals, we did see that right when this kind of ascending triangle formation broke, we saw the stock trend much higher before seeing a slight pullback and then continuing the pattern. There was this huge anticipation for the switch into their new chips. And a lot of this kind of price action that we're seeing right now, I think is due to the fact that everyone's kind of storming into the stock and people don't really know where to put their money right now still during the pandemic. And we are seeing a lot of these tech companies still being extremely overvalued. So I do think that Apple, yes, while it can remain high in valuation and keep on trending higher, I think it represents a riskier trade when it comes to risk to reward the one key area that i'm looking at for apple right now is this 50 exponential moving average that is sloping up nicely and if we do see a decent pullback let's say of about 10 percent in apple i mean we might see a bounce over here on this level which was the previous level of the breakout of this ascending triangle formation and this 50 exponential moving average slowly creeping up so maybe around the price of 327, 326, we see Apple take a slight bounce to the upside. And then depending on where the price action is going and the candlesticks for that day, we can determine that at a later date. But I do think that this area would act as a nicer risk to reward scenario because we can risk around 2 to 3% of our portfolio if this 50 exponential moving average creeps up to this area. And we could have a potential bounce of another 7 to 8%. So I would think that that would be a nice risk to reward trade because you would kind of get 2 to 1 for your risk, right? So I think that's a nice trade to take on Apple if we see that in the upcoming days. But again, guys, due to the fact that we are still breaking out, I am leaning bullish on Apple, but the risk is not worth the reward for me right now. Now looking at the weekly chart to get a clearer picture, we see that we had a huge rejection zone in this area around the 317 to 324 mark. 
And this was the area where we did see the huge breakout. This was the huge downturn of the capitulation. And we did see that when we retested, we kind of broke out. It acted as a slight resistance over here, but typically in classical technical analysis, what we do want to see is a retest of the breakout region. And that's why I was labeling out for you guys on the daily chart that this area can act as a nice level of support. And the one key factor that I wanna show you guys is, remember how I said on the daily chart, the 50 exponential moving average is sloping up into this 327, 328 area? Well, the 20 exponential weekly moving average is also creeping up into this green box that we're seeing over here. So I do think that, again, this area can act as a nice level of support when looking for a nice risk to reward ratio on a trade. So overall, guys, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.